everybody. Welcome back to another Community Helper Storytime here at the Twinsburg Public Library. Today, our special guest is Judy, the Community Education Coordinator at the Summit County Humane Society. Have any of you ever visited the Humane Society before? Maybe adopted a pet from there? Judy will tell you all about what she does at the Humane Society, how they help animals, and how you can help animals too. I hope you enjoy her story. Hello, friends. I'm Judy, and I work for the Humane Society of Summit County. At the Humane Society, we rescue more than 2,500 animals every year. Those animals could be injured, mistreated, or abandoned. We bring those animals into the shelter, help them get healthy, and then help them find a forever home to live in. I have a story for you today about a dog who was looking for a forever home and tried to do it by advertising in the mail. Can I Be Your Dog? by Troy Cummings. This shows all the different kinds of stamps that we used to use and the kind we use now, forever stamps. Can I Be Your Dog? And looks like this dog is abandoned and only has a cardboard box to live in. But luckily, he knows how to write. Here's the mail carrier delivering the letter and the first letter. Dear people at the Yellow House, Woof, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfie. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. So I hope that you can see why Arfie would pick this house to, to ask first. Oh, looks like Arfie got a letter back. Dear Arfie, we're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is um, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search. The Honeywells. Looks like Arfie is pretty disappointed at that rejection letter. Dear butcher lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Arfie. And there's that mail carrier delivering a letter to the Chop Chop Butcher Shop. Arfie does not look very happy. The letter says, look pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Veronica Shank, Butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets and good luck finding a home. So Arfie doesn't look so happy, but it does look like he's enjoying his dried giblets. Nom, nom, nom. Another letter. Dear Fire Station number five, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, Let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street and yours is the shiniest, Arfie. And here we can see that letter carrier again delivering that letter to the fire station. But look what's going on upstairs in the fire station. And Arfie got the letter back from the Butternut Street Fire Station. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Station number five. And I think you can see what Arfie thinks about that rejection letter. Another letter. Dear Junkyard Guy, I'm not gonna lie. 
you're my next to last choice. But these past few days have been rough, 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 rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much, and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfie. And you can see the mail carrier taking Arfie's letter to the junkyard. Here's a short letter that Arfie got back. Dear Mutt, get lost. Well, you can see what Arfie thinks about that rejection letter, too. He's going to bury it. Dear Last House on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell, but I'm not picky, just lonely. Arfy. And there's that last house on Butternut Street, but where is the letter carrier? Uh-oh, return to sender. Nobody at this address. And look, Arfi is so distraught because he's out of houses to ask if he can be their dog. And he's howling in the rain. Oh! Luckily, Arfi had that cardboard box to go back home to, to stay out of the rain. And he went back in and went to sleep. The next morning, there's something on Arfie's box. He sniffed it. It's a letter for him. And the letter says, Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what, snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everybody on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first class partner with hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. So here's Mitzi at the big blue mailbox, but there's no sign of Arfi. Where is he? Here he comes, and with another letter. And you can see that when he gets to Mitzi, it's love at first sight. And here's the letter he wrote to Mitzi. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is, yes, truly yours, Arfi. P.S. Woof. And then you can see that Mitzi is giving him scritch scratch pets on the head. And there's one last letter from Arfie. Here's how you can help a home homeless animal. Adopt a shelter animal instead of buying a pet. Volunteer at a shelter or a pet adoption event. Spay or neuter your pets so there will be fewer fur babies to find a home for. Donate to your local animal shelter or a national animal advocacy group, such as the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals or the Humane Society. Extend a helpful paw so all our animal friends can find forever homes. Arfi. And if you borrow this book from the library, make sure that you peek very carefully underneath the back cover to see who Mitzi's new partner is to deliver the letters. Well, thanks for joining me for this story. I hope you take it out of the library, and I hope to see you someday at the Animal Shelter in Twinsburg.